Welcome everybody, we have arrived at the International Film Music Festival in Rotterdam for the uh, documentary BNK48 Girls Don't Cry. So we're about to enter and we'll see what happens. Welcome everybody to a uh, special uh, occasion for 48 Talk. We're here uh, at the International uh, Film Festival in Rotterdam. We just watched the documentary of BNK48, Girls Don't Cry. We have us here, uh, our guest, uh, the director of the movie, Hi there. Hi, hi, hi. So, um, yeah, we just finished this watching and um, well, personally for my take, I very like the, the fact how you portrayed the, the members of the groups, just showing them how uh, hardship it was to grow into what they are and, and what they have to deal with and basically all what is new from them evolves into this group that they are together. So um, my first question is, how did you um, get involved in this? How did you prepare yourself? And was it challenging for you to do this documentary? Um. Uh, in the first day that uh, the company did a uh, obviously a uh, company uh, project, uh, we have to discuss first before we do that because I have to say I, I have to I have to show my my purpose on making this film that I don't want it to be like promotional video or promotional video for the band. So I tell I told them that I wanted to be like um, teenager fans because it's a topic that I'm quite interested. In. So, they said okay. So, I, I tried to develop a documentary that I wanted to do like a middle age film, teenager film, and maybe the like, diary of the band. Uh, like, because uh, the only topic I have, I have a choice that my friend is like, um, this documentary is like one of the anniversary of the band. So, I want it was a very challenging knowing um, were you already informed about their, well, their sister group of course the uh, Japanese side of AKB48 were you aware about in this situation, what kind of idol group it actually was before you start to go into the documentary? Uh, I, I know some level, not, not everything, but after I, 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 I had to make this project, I yeah. start to start it. But um, it's like I started it for just a background knowledge because, as I said, I wanted to be kind of personal. So my focus is on how, how I can, like, access to them because you know it's like it's very hard. I I have quite limited time. I have it's like half a half a year to, to, to make this project. And I go I go to the band in the middle of that because in that time it's very high time for them. It's very peak time. So there's a lot of barrier between me and them because I am male, I am older than them. It's like I am a stranger going to their room, their rehearsal room, and yeah, so it's, it's quite hard and it's quite challenging to figure out how how I can how I can get the very real interview from them. Can you name some examples of very challenging, like certain uh, events that you're going to, or uh, certain moments that they didn't want to talk about, or was there something that's close off that's like you want to get the uh, the feeling out there, what they truly feel, but were they sometimes reluctant to tell because they don't know if this would influence them in their career, of course. I think the hard, hardest time for me is. Um, 
months before I, I mean it's like I stay with him for four months, five months before mm -hmm. interview session. But during is that moment it's like you know I I think the best conversation comes from being friend. But sometimes we have no strategy to be friend. We just try we just be friend with it. But you know it's like there's no like there's no I mean we I don't know how 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 much they trust me, you know. Until the interview day I, I still don't know also. So I just okay. I hope um, the time that we stay we share together can can make them trust me more. And in the interviewing day I just like you said to them, you just say what you want. If you don't if you don't if you don't want to say something then just Giving this kind of feeling, let let them make make them make them feel more relaxed, and yeah, they they say you know one of these things. Yeah. That was the the beauty of it. Um, I noticed that there was like a casual talk in there, like. Um, you mentioned it was like they're going like into a, a therapy session just yeah, yeah, yeah. but you also just not talk to him as just an interviewer mm -hmm. but I got some feeling that's also just as a friend you know mm -hmm. you can just say anything on your mind yeah and that's you can see the relationship in there in the trust mm -hmm. so that's why it had a beautiful effect to this mm -hmm. because I, I actually I have some friends but when they talk to when I talk to them, sometimes my question doesn't work. So I just listen to their answer and I just follow them. I just follow them. Yeah, so sometimes it's a story I never know. I never knew before. So it's like, okay, just getting to know them in that interview. You know, sometimes it's like we, we have an image, some image of that member before we go in. So you followed them for the first event. Um, Koi Fortune Cookie happened, that exploded, it became very popular. Uh, after that, we got uh, the AKB World Senbatsu in uh, June of last year, uh, and also the recent general election, and as well as the Kohaku, the special the Japanese uh, show at the end of the year. Would you have liked to shoot that for your documentary as well? Because that's more of an integration to the rest of the world, like outside, uh, outside of time. Would you, do you regret not shooting that as well or as a second part in the documentary? Um, actually, I, 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 I feel regret a little bit, but not that much, because I think I got the answer from, from, from this thing already, from my interview already. Because, but if I got footage from general election, maybe it's the same footage for the film. But the answer, but the, for the theme, the audio message is, is still the same. So um, it's a little bit sad that I lack some that, that, that kind of footage, but the film still works in a different way. I, I, I did like how you uh, let the girls actually decide what would you what you like to see and keep focused on the girls because like I said this documentary is mainly the focus on the girls not as the group how the group's popularity rise just individually about the members so um, you also showed a little teaser for maybe something in the future is that already in the plans can we expect that we'll have a follow-up to this um, actually there's a sequel but the different uh, the director is not me uh, no. <laughs> yeah. and but actually they the, the man the management team, they, they, they want me to, 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 to make a sequel, but I just said to them that, okay, um, I think uh, the film should have a different director because different director have a different approach to the, to, 
different viewpoint. This different viewpoint and it is more interesting. And that's more the same. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're afraid that it gets too still, it's like, oh, we already saw this in and first uh, point. Yeah, yeah. So I, I just want it, I just want to see all these interesting films. So, okay. I just, the day I wish, I, I mean, it's like, change the back there. Yeah. Very good. Um, so, so you spent uh, with uh, them almost six months. Um, when it was over, did you have like a feeling of, sort of relief or like of tension or something that was missing? Yeah, I think something was missing. Actually, <laughs> I, I have to say it's like after shooting uh, is finished, I rarely, I, I rarely uh, met him. I mean, I, I have no chance to meet him anymore. Uh, so it's like, as I said, it's like we are, we are like brothers or something. So after the film is released and everything is done, it's just like we, we don't see each other. So sometimes like I literally miss them. Yeah, everyone. Not, not specifically. Yeah, but in the same month, I still like follow the news. Or the I, I also watch. Yeah, how 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 I I mean it's like I want to know how they are now. Because we have no talking anymore. So I just like follow on the social media sometimes. Yeah. 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 So much involvement in there just Little grows a little more. Because yeah. well, um, usually I, I made a picture of them. When the film is um, the, the character is with the film. But the documentary is like the, the subject. I'm still going on. So I feel like the next time I see you, you know, it's like, we are brother sister now. It's like, I want to follow them. Keep, keep following them. That's a problem. That's cool. Now that the documentary is done, and you know about, you know, uh, about uh, the election and uh, the recent one and the AKB one, what did you learn? seeing that all. Now we're on this day, everything has happened. What did you learn? What did you learn from that? You yourself and as a director? You mean from the members? Yeah, from the members. As I said, I think we share we share the feeling together because we worked in, in the film industry, yeah, yeah. creative industry, which there's no criteria to just to work sometimes because Sometimes as a um, I submit film. That's the most of the time I got rejected, and I don't know why. That's yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like it's like the member got rejected or not selected to to this ambassador. Sometimes I uh, submit a project to the film studio, and they have me in that. I feel right I am so blessed. I feel like oh, I'm the first time I got selected. Yeah, so it's, I think it's like that we have the same area. But in different parts. Same but different. Yeah, yeah. But it's like we are in the world of competition sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, we can refuse that. And you know, it's like. Um, some answer for some people works on some question. I, I, I ever had some question in my mind about being rejected or being selected. Mm -hmm. Some answer from the member is not there. The five, yeah, it's like they, 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 answer, that they answer me on those questions. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I think why I can, why I can, why I can, no, sorry. Okay. Why, why I don't know yeah, this yeah. answer before? Yeah, yeah. But because maybe I don't think I think about it too much. But I think it's always sometimes questions. Um, the from the member who is younger than me, and he is like, yeah, he is sometimes talking about answering questions. Very good. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, um, one more thing. Um, any future projects you want to uh, share with the world so following your styles or you want to uh, see more of? Uh, this year I will have a new feature film. 
So if you haven't a chance, uh, go watch BNK48 Girls Don't Cry documentary. Very good one. Um, personally, uh, I think we enjoyed it immensely. It was a very good take on the viewpoint of what you normally don't see. Uh, so I'd like to thank you so much for this. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much.